Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card. If you're interested in having a personal reading with me, currently, this won't be the case all the time, but currently I do have two offerings. One is a live video, face-to-face -face video reading that is priced differently. Email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com for availability. I'm doing those in 30 minute time slots. So if you want one hour, hour and a half, just you know, get the two slots or three slots and do it that way. There has been some confusion of people purchasing the half hour and thinking we're supposed to go for an hour. So I just wanna make that very clear. If you wanna stick with the standard reading, of course that is still available. At the moment I am running ahead of schedule. If you wait to book one of those, there's no appointment necessary for those. I just take care of it when I um, get to your place in line and I email it to you. Uh, and you'll get a lot out of it. Trust and believe, okay? <laughs> uh, those are at angelsouls444.com. But if you wait, obviously people are going to be ahead of you in line and then you start getting up to the regular wait time. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's get our card for today. Yeah, be prepared. I know I was experiencing this if you saw one of my past videos, like people are going to start acting out and being, I don't want to use the word crazy. <laughs> I mean, I want to use the word crazy, but that's not accurate. They're being erratic. And um, it will, it'll become more and more obvious who is functioning off of dark energy and who's being infiltrated by that. So that is why a lot of us say, okay, you know, have your, here we go, uh, have your moment, have your uh, emotions, but see if you can, get yourself through that you know what i'm saying or if you need more support make sure you you do that we're seeing a, i'm getting chills as i say this we're seeing a lot of people snapping and just anyway grace and antoinette to help heal this situation see the other person's point of view with compassion so this might be relating to something in your own world but in general we need to have more compassion towards one another instead of seeing each other as the enemy i've been saying this for a very long time and sometimes i feel like it falls on deaf ears and that's something that makes me feel sad and down when, you know, I'm, I'm seeing, you know, all these, all this messaging out there that this person is against us and this person's our enemy and this, all this division. Okay. Or, you know, not really, there, there's a message here of not really honoring ourselves too. So we don't need to say, I'm right, you're wrong. In every situation, there's a little bit of right and a little bit of wrong for everybody, right? So, you know, taking accountability for your part in something and trying to understand where the other person is coming from and having a connection in that way, right? A deeper understanding of the human condition. That's really what it comes down to. And holding others accountable for things that we're not holding ourselves accountable for. Like you expect somebody else to just get over it when you know yourself, you would go on about something for two weeks, right? I had that when I had a breakup. <laughs> I had a breakup years ago and someone was like, oh my gosh, it was like a few days after the breakup happened and they were tired of me being sad. They were tired of looking at me being sad and they rolled their eyes and said, oh my God, get over it. But they themselves would short circuit if they had a breakup. So yeah. You know what I mean? So we have to look at that. <laughs> Make sure you're catching yourself if you're doing that. Be fair. All right. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.